It's nice to see some sunshine return today after four straight days of rainfall. Now results varied as to how much we got. We picked up the bulk of all of this last Friday, but nearly four inches of rain in total over that four day stretch. That's over a month's worth of rainfall. October usually averages about two and a uh, two thirds of an inch for rainfall. So yeah, we're going to inch above average right now. We're only halfway through the month, uh, so awfully soggy weather, but we get a chance to dry out in the coming days. Now that all of that rain has moved on, you can see uh, downstate as well as to our east. Plenty of shower activity still going for us, though we're under the influence of high pressures. That's going to continue to stick around through at least the middle of the week it's going to keep some of the sunshine around, keep some of the cooler air flowing in. But the main thing is we get a chance to dry out after that four day soggy stretch. So for the rest of this evening, sunset not too far away from right now, but at least the weather stays dry and quiet. Low 50s next couple hours, just a hint of wind chill. So we've got a cool evening, but at least it is quiet. Temperatures not dropping off rapidly. Some clouds build in, but overall we're looking at not a ton changing as we go throughout to this evening tonight down to a brisk 42 under a mostly cloudy sky. So we avoid frosty conditions. Light breeze out of the north carries us on into Monday morning. Start of the new week has temperatures very similar to today. Middle to upper 50s under a partly cloudy sky. Slight breeze out of the north, but it's a quiet start to the week and we don't have to worry about that rain returning until we get to about midweek or so. So here's future track. High pressure drifts south into Tuesday, but as you can see, the weather staying quiet all day long on Monday. Same for Tuesday. Then keep an eye on this area of low pressure coming in from Canada. That will slide closer towards us by Wednesday. May send some spotty showers in, especially by late morning and afternoon. The bulk of the rain, though, may hold off until we get to Thursday. You can see this weather system not fully through just yet. So as a result, Thursday is looking to be the day that brings the most rainfall. It does look to be scattered Thursday, so it's not going to be an all day rainy event like we saw last week. Rain might be a bit on and off, and right now the long range forecast looks to be uh, with light rainfall, not heavy rainfall. So yes, Thursday has some rain, but it won't be as soggy as the stretch we just went through. Temperature wise, we do warm up back to the 60s by Wednesday. We hover right about there with those showers coming in Thursday. Then we drop every so slightly going into the weekend. Uh, the upcoming weekend, though, looking sunny, so long range forecast has dry weather more often than not. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, don't look for a ton of changes as we get deeper and deeper into the month of October. Some 60s still trying to hang around as we see a lot of dry weather and not much for rain. And